A cadaster, using a cadastral survey, a cadastral map, is a comprehensive register of the real estate or real properties meets and bounds of a country. A cadaster commonly includes details of the ownership, the tenure, the precise location, the dimensions, the cultivations if rural, and the value of individual parcels of land. Cadasters are used by many nations around the world, some in conjunction with other records, such as a title register. In most countries, legal systems have developed around the original administrative systems and use the cadaster to define the dimensions and location of land parcels. Described in legal documentation, the cadaster is a fundamental source of data in disputes and lawsuits between landowners. In the United States, cadastral survey within the Bureau of Land Management maintains records of all public lands. Such surveys often require detailed investigation of the history of land use, legal accounts, and other documents. Etymology The word cadaster came into English through French from late Latin capitistrum, a register of the poll tax, and the Greek kappa alpha tau alpha sigma tau iota io micron nu catastacorn. A list to register, from kappa alpha tau sigma tau iota io micron nu catastacorn, literally, down the line, in the sense of line by line, along the directions and distances between the corners mentioned and marked by monuments in the meets and bounds. The word forms the adjective cadastral, used in public administration, primarily for ownership and taxation purposes. The terminology for cadastral divisions may include counties, parishes, ridings, hundreds, sections, lots, blocks and city blocks. Other languages have kept the original T sound in the second syllable. In modern Greek, though, it has been replaced by kappa tau atom u alpha tau omicron lambda omicron gamma iota omicron katamatologio. History. Some of the earliest cadastres were ordered by Roman emperors to recover state owned lands that had been appropriated by private individuals, and thereby recover income from such holdings. One such cadaster was done in 77 AD in Campania, where a surviving stone marker of the survey reads, the Emperor Vespasian, in the eighth year of his tribunician power, so as to restore the state lands which the Emperor Augustus had given to the soldiers of Legion II Gallica, but which for some years years had been occupied by private individuals, ordered a survey map to be set up with a record on each century of the annual rental. In this way Vespasian was able to reimpose taxation formerly uncollected on these lands. With the fall of Rome the use of cadastral maps effectively discontinued. Medieval practice used written descriptions of the extent of land rather than using more precise surveys. Only in the 16th and early 17th centuries did the use of cadastral maps resume, beginning in the Netherlands. With the emergence of capitalism in Renaissance Europe, the need for cadastral maps re-emerged as a tool to determine and express control of land as a means of production. This took place first privately in land disputes and later spread to governmental practice as a means of more precise tax assessment. Cadastral surveys. Cadastral surveys document the boundaries of land ownership by the production of documents, diagrams, sketches, plans, charts, and maps. They were originally used to ensure reliable facts for land valuation and taxation. An example from early England is the Doomsday Book in 1086. Napoleon established a comprehensive cadastral system for France that is regarded as the forerunner of most modern versions. The Public Lands Survey System is a cadastral survey of the United States originating in legislation from 1785. After international recognition of the United States, the Dominion Land Survey is a similar cadastral survey conducted in Western Canada begun in 1871 after the creation of the Dominion of Canada in 
1867. Both cadastral surveys are made relative to principal meridian on baselines. These cadastral surveys divided the surveyed areas into townships, square land areas of approximately 36 square miles. These townships are divided into sections, each approximately one mile square. Unlike in Europe this cadastral survey largely preceded settlement and as a result greatly influenced settlement patterns. Properties are generally rectangular, boundary lines often run on cardinal bearings, and parcel dimensions are often in fractions or multiples of chains. Land descriptions in Western North America are principally based on these land surveys. Cadastral survey information is often a base element in geographic land information systems used to assess and manage land and built infrastructure. Such systems are also employed on a variety of other tasks, for example, to track long-term changes over time for geological or ecological studies, where land tenure is a significant part of the scenario. Cadastral map. A cadastral map is a map that shows the boundaries and ownership of land parcels. Some cadastral maps show additional details, such as survey district names, unique identifying numbers for parcels, certificate of title numbers, positions of existing structures, section of lot numbers and the respective areas, adjoining and adjacent street names, selected boundary dimensions and references to prior maps. Perhaps. The USNOA Coastal Services Center has released a cadaster web tool to illustrate offshore wind power suitability of eastern seaboard areas. James C. Scott in Seeing Like Our State argues that all maps, but particularly cadastral maps, are designed to make local situations legible to an outsider, and in doing so, enable states to collect data on the subjects. He sees the origins of this in early modern Europe, where taxation became more complex. Cadastral maps, he argues, are always a great simplification, but they in themselves help change reality. Cadastral documentation comprises the documentary materials submitted to cadaster or land administration offices for renewal of cadastral recordings. Cadastral documentation is kept in paper and or electronic form. Jurisdiction statutes and further provisions specify the content and form of the documentation, as well as the person authorized to prepare and sign the documentation, including concerned parties, licensed surveyors and legal advisors. Advisors. The office concerned reviews the submitted information if the documentation does not comply with stated provisions. The office may set a deadline for the applicant to submit complete documentation. Despite the age of cadaster, the notion of cadastral documentation emerged late in the English language, as the institution of cadaster developed outside English-speaking countries. In a Danish textbook, one out of 15 chapters regards the form and content of documents concerning subdivision, etc. Early textbooks of international scope focused on recordings in terms of land registration and technical aspects of cadastral survey, yet note that cadastral surveying has been carried out within a tight framework of legislation, with the view of assessing transaction costs per European project modeling real property transactions charted procedures for the transfer of ownership and other rights in land and buildings. Cadastral documentation is described e. g. for Finland as follows 8. Surveyor draws up cadastral map and cadastral documents. 10. Surveyor sends cadastral documents to cadastral authority. 